Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4. As you can see, we're still in the Corvega factory. That guy's twitching and is shimmying around, but there is a reason I'm still here. I took a look at Jared's terminal here and there's some very interesting entries in here I thought you should see. Setting up shops, stumped subjects, etc, etc. This is all about this guy Jared, the leader of these raiders. And he's, uh... Talking about Lexington and other stuff, but he's also talking about the... This. The old woman. She used to just huff some jet, pop some pills, then she'd start babbling, spouting vision after vision. They all turned out to be true. And that's definitely Mama Murphy. So this guy is definitely talking about Murphy. And uh, we'll have to talk to her when we get back to Sanctuary. Because, uh, yeah, she didn't mention this to us. And if you don't believe me that it's Mama Murphy, I remember the look in her eyes when she saw my fate. Kid, you gotta be a monster. All true. There you go, that's the way she talks. So all of that is about Mama Murphy. Also, there may be a few raiders left. Alright. So, there's our buddy. Uh, I can't use that one. I'm just looking around for stuff now. I'm going to cut here, and I'm going to come back when we are back at Ten Pints. So, unless something interesting happens. So, I'll be right back. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm stuck! Oh, never mind. Be right back. Hey, guys, I just found this. I uh, just walked in here and I found a, a frequency, so... Oh, well, I lost the signal. Hang on. Okay, hang on. Hang on. I'm gonna listen to this radio real quick. Automated message repeating. This is Scribe Halen of Reconnaissance Squad Gladius to any unit in transmission range. Authorization ARCS, Ferrum, 9-5. Our unit has sustained casualties, and we're running low on supplies. We're requesting support or evac from our position at Cambridge Police Station. Automated message repeating. All right. Oh, let me turn that off real quick. Interesting. Well, that's something I'm definitely going to be doing at some point. Whoop, someone's shooting at us. I'll see you guys later. Alright, everybody, we are back in Ten Pines Bluff, and we are going to report to this lovely man and woman that we have solved their raider problem. Hello? Hello? You find those raiders? I took care of those raiders for you. No kidding. That's the best piece Ooh. of news we've had around nice. here for a good long time. So we've been talking. We decided if you came through for us, we'd join up with the Minutemen again. If we Ooh. want things to get better, we've got to start helping each other. That's very nice so of you. So we're in. You can count on us if you need help down the line. Thanks again, friend. I'm going to take your tomatoes. Mom, mom, Seems mom, to be mom, growing mom, well. Mom, mom. Huh? Huh? Hey! What's up? Oh, well, f <laughs> fuck you too, buddy. What's this? Whoa. What's all this, then? Looks like good karma's paying off. Ah, <laughs> funny, because there's no karma in this game anymore. Which makes me sad. So this is another settlement that I can work at now. You don't need that, do you? So I can, uh... I can do stuff here. Get all this stuff, which I'm not going to be doing right now. Oh, did you need those to keep your house up? Oh god, I hope not. Um... So this is one of my settlements now, which is cool. Um... I'm not going to do anything here right now. I'm just going to keep going. I gotta choose what to do now. Well, I need to go talk to Garby. So let's, uh, let's go to Sanctuary real quick. 
I haven't done anything with Sanctuary building-wise. At least in this playthrough. I started up another character in this, but I'm not doing anything major. I'm just learning how the workshop works with her. Um, I built a few stuff there. It's, it's complicated. It's complicated as shit, so I'm not going to be doing it on this playthrough. Sometimes um, we'll come back and I'll show you the things that I've done, but oh my god, is it in-depth. But at least it gives you... It gives you uh, a, something to do with all the miscellaneous crap you pick up. The reason that you see me picking up Wonder Glue and duct tape is you need to break those down into adhesives and stuff like that. So... Ah. Home sweet home, eh, Cudsworth? You were pretty helpful, if very loud. Where am I going? How's it going? Sturgis? Just find a nice spot of ground and plant whatever you've got. Ugh. Anything fresh will be a great change for us. Garby. Radix. Check your shirt and slacks. Let's uh let's take my crap off here. Put my suit on. My eyeglasses as well. Much better. Oh yeah, and let's put my knucks back. Because I was using a gun there for a second. Ah. Garby! I'm here to talk to you! I knew Sturgis would find something to keep you busy. Dude! You know that settlement you sent me to help? They've decided to join the Minutemen. That's great news. I knew you were the right person for the job. Okay, bye! By the way, you should have one of these flare guns. You can use it to signal for help from any nearby Minutemen. Cool. Not much use yet, but once we have more allied settlements, You'll have help whenever you need it. Interesting. So, there's something I need to ask you. Oh, really? I guess you know I'm one of the last of the Minutemen. But I never really oh, told up. you what happened to us. You know, can you, uh... Can you take a... Oh, I can't. Are you really the last Minuteman? Maybe not literally. There must be a lot of former Minutemen out there who gave it up in disgust. After the Quincy Massacre. Quincy? But we were the last active group of Minutemen. And now, well... It's just me. Okay. What was the Quincy Massacre? I thought everyone in the Commonwealth knew about that by I now. I explained to you, I'm 200 years Colonel old. I was with Hollis's group. A mercenary group called the Gunners was attacking Quincy. The people there called for the Minutemen to help. Uh -huh. We were the only ones that came. The other groups... They just turn their backs okay. on us and the folks in Quincy. Only a few of us got out alive. Colonel Hollis was dead. So I ended up in charge of the survivors. That's sad, we never bro. found a safe place to settle. One disaster after another. You saw how it ended and conquered. Uh I know how it feels to be the last survivor. Yeah, I guess you do. That's why I'm talking to you. I can't rebuild the Minutemen, but I think you can. Oh God, really? Why can't you lead the Minutemen? That's not who I am. I can get my men through a firefight. I can defend a perimeter against all odds, but that's not gonna be enough to bring the Minutemen back from the brink. We need someone who can bring the whole Commonwealth together in a common cause. And I think you've got it in you to be that leader. Really? Mr. Garvey is quite right, sir. If anyone can unite the people, it's you. Thank you, Codsworth. What makes you think I can do this? You saved us and conquered. There wasn't anything in it for you. You had your own problems to deal with, but you did it anyway. That kind of selflessness has been in mighty short supply around here for quite a while. Can you explain what the Minutemen are all about? We're citizen soldiers. The people of the Commonwealth banding together to protect ourselves and decide our own future. That was the original idea, and it was a good one. The Minutemen fell apart because our leaders forgot what we were supposed to stand for. Okay. I think you're the one who can bring the Minutemen back and bring the whole Commonwealth together. Uh, yeah, why not? Okay, I'll do it. That's the spirit, sir, and one giant oh, step in like the Yay. right direction for the Commonwealth. Good. Good. 
Welcome aboard. I feel like this is a whole new star for the Miniman and the Commonwealth too. I'll kill Don't you. worry. I'll be right beside you all the way, General. Okay. Why are you calling me General? The leader of the Miniman has always held the rank of General. Our last leader was General Becker. After he died back in 82, nobody could agree on who should take his place. The one good thing about being the last Miniman is there's no one to argue with me when I say you're the new general. Now it's your job to make it more than an empty title. Ooh. I've gotten word about a settlement that's being threatened by raiders. Ah, oh, I'm so sick of raiders. <laughs> Just stare at him. <laughs> um, I'll mark it on your map. Go whoa. find out what they need. We could use more settlements supporting it. That'll be all, soldier. Codsworth, how does our relationship stand now that you hey. like that other thing? Yes, hey, Codsworth. Another is already in the works. Oh! Thank you? How do you feel about us? Hard to tell, sir. I feel we're more acquaintances than anything these days. Oh. You just haven't been yourself lately. No. Oh. Your thoughts? A fine decision, sir. Or general, if I may. The Minutemen seem to be quite the upstanding group. That's all. All right, then. Did I get that purified water from you? I don't know where he got that thing. Oh, yeah, I can uh, destroy this building. Boop, bidoop, boop, bidoop. Oh, that probably came from the well that I built. Did I ever build Mama Murphy her chair? Special. Oh, Mama Murphy's chair! What? I didn't mean to put it there, but... I'll bring it with me. I'll, I'll build it right for her. Right... Yeah, right... Right here. Yeah. Right there from Mama. Now where is she? Hang on, let me check. What is this? Why does this have? Oh. Um. Where's Mama Murphy's thing? I gotta find her. I'm not gonna look too much for her, but I, I do want to actually plant that tomato that I got. Um, inventory, aid, actually let me, uh, I have to go into the workshop to do that. Boop, 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 ba, 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 ha, ba, ba. Oh yeah, razor grain, I have that too. Is that enough? Help out or get lost. I will fucking kill you. I mean, nice to Seems see to you too, well. Murphy. Marcy, I call you Murphy. Marcy. Mama Murphy. One day, sanctuary will be a vibrant community. I've seen it. Okay, good for you, Mama Murphy. Do you hey. like your chair? You need the sight. It's telling me. Mentats will give us the right high for another insight into your destiny. No, I just want to know about the... Maybe later. It's always here if you need it. Just making sure you like your chair. That's all. Sturgis! I know I'm not the only person You're not the guy I want to talk to. I just... I miss him so much. I know, I know. But Garvey's right around the corner. You don't have to miss him that much. I don't want to talk to you. Anyway. I... Oh, yeah, I did build this. I forgot that I built this last time. Let's let's get some sleep. Let's get some sleep. Let's get a nice 12 hours of sleep. So, um, I'm going to... I think I'm going to stop doing the Minutemen stuff for right now, just because I want to do something different. 
So I'm thinking for the rest of this episode, I'm just going to go off and explore a little bit. Ah, ah, much better. I'm going to go off and explore for a bit. So Codsworth, come on, let's go for now. You and me, buddy, for now. I'll get dog meat later. I'm just going to explore the area around here for a while. Just because I haven't done that yet. And then starting up next episode, I think I'll probably go for the main storyline. Or maybe I'll do that military thing, who knows. Um, cause here's all the stuff I have so far. Now let's, we're here, let's talk to Sturgis. Then I'll explore. See what he gives me. Oh, I have to, well, let's talk to Sturgis first, but I have to get a new perk for, uh, leveling up. I love this game so much. This is so great. I love the fact that this is floating. Uh, this game is so much fun. It's, it's a Fallout game. What do you expect? Fallout games are freaking awesome. I'm hey. sorry. I, I, I uh, wouldn't be very good company right now. You all right there, Sirtis? You were kind of clipped through that chair. Now this place is starting to feel like home. Well, uh, now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, oh, great. the more of a target we become. Raiders. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. Oh. Later. I'll get to it when I have time. Well, okay. The sooner the better, though. Yeah, yeah. Bugger off. Time for me to explore! I'm gonna turn off that quest. Yeah, Diamond City. I'll go there next episode. That's what I'm gonna do. Because I need to actually get to civilization at some point. I, I don't want to just be left with this place and Ten Pines Bluff. Oh, I have to go to the Super Duper Mart at some point, too. So much to do! Uh, there's so much to do! I love it. Hopefully at Diamond City they'll have a doctor or something. Yeah! Water! You gonna be alright in the water? Oh, there's rats! I'm not alright in the water! Oh, God. Uh. Come on, sir! We can take them! Uh, I don't have a projectile on me right now. Well, I mean, I do, but... Let's get out of here. No, oh, you have that flamethrower. You're, you'll do just fine. <laughs> there is something to be said for having a follower with a flamethrower. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that looks like a lot of radioactivity. A gunner? Excuse me? I'm gonna go check out what this gunner thing is over here. Is it a person? Hello? I can do this all what? Oh, God! <laughs> Maybe let's put my armor back on. Oh, the gunners! Those were the raiders that were attacking Quincy. That Quincy settlement he was talking about. Uh, boiled left leather arm. Uh, no. Boiled leather left arm. Leather right arm. Minuteman outfit. Raider chest piece. Right arm. Left arm. No. I'm just missing. I need that. I'm missing a left leg. need to take less damage somehow. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't save! Why does this always happen to me? Why does this always happen to me? I didn't save at any point. Oh, no! I think it saved when I slept. Please tell me it saved when I slept. Yay! I still have to talk to Garvey, don't I? No, I don't! Let's go after those fuckers! They had... fucking laser weapons, man. Um... I'm gonna use my frag grenades. Damage medium. Um... 
put my left arm. No, left arm. Assault gas mask. Left leg. Right arm. Minuteman outfit. Right leg. Raider chess piece. There. Now let's go after those biatches. Whoa. I just zoomed in really fast. What? Where did you come from, you little bitch? Alright, so. Let's just go. You, let's use this to go across. This would be, taking out those gunners would be the last thing I do in this episode, and then next time we'll go to Diamond City or explore, or both. Who knows? Not me, I'm just playing the game. But yeah, the gunners were the raider crew that was attacking Quincy, that Garvey just told us about. I wonder if that just means that we now have those guys to worry about. They were not... They were not going down easy. Let's see if I can't use my, uh... Alright, wild mongrels. I can deal with those. Oh. Wine. Bobrov's best moonshine. Gathered a little more than we can carry. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Hey, did we saw? Hey, buddies, what's up? Let's make it. I'm supposed to be impressed. Okay, you just chase him around for a little while. That sounded cushy. Blood bugs. Rad stag? What the fuck is a rad stag? Whoa! What are you? Oh, what are those? Oh my god, you're beautiful! Oh god! No, don't hurt him, Codsworth. It's all right. Codsworth? I just startled him is all. That's okay. But what is this? I don't even know where those gunners went. Uh, all right, I'm going to explore this house, and then I'm going to call it. Oh, that guy was... Oh, punched apart. Oh, more of them. Great. I hate these things so much. I do like how easy they die, though. I hate the fact that they're doing me rad damage, though. God, I need something better than these brass knuckles. So what's in here? Fucking go around, I guess. Oh, brain fungus, hot plate. Ooh, wasteland there survival we guide. Nice! Nice! I like it. What do we got? Oh, a hollow tape. Oh, a hollow tape. Let's, uh, let's listen to that real quick, shall we? October 22nd, 2077. I finally told them tonight, and it was bad. Real bad. Dad was shouting, telling me I should be ashamed, that, that I had to get out of the house. Mom just cried, and somehow that hurt worse than anything else. She didn't say a word, not even when I packed my things. I can't go to John. He doesn't even know yet. Maybe he'll never know. If it weren't for the cabin, I 
I wouldn't have a place to sleep. Just need some time to think. Last time I was here, I was just a little girl playing clubhouse in this old cabin. Now I'm really scared. Will anything ever be right again? Damn. Damn, man. I don't know what it was that she told her parents. Maybe she was gay? Maybe she was pregnant? Uh, fuck. What a, what a way to end this freaking episode, huh? Ugh, I'm so sorry. Sorry. Alright, everybody. That's enough for this episode. Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Fallout 4, and next time we'll explore a little more, and then we'll head to Diamond City. Just to see what it's all about. Maybe I'll switch out Codsworth for Dogmeat, too. He's a little quieter than Codsworth is. So, everybody, I hope to see you next time. See you later. Your face? Oh, whoa, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh! <laughs>